So SmackDown kicked off with something much different than usual this week, and that was the entire car accident situation. We opened with what seems to be a car accident, and WWE has Renee Young reporting on the scene. We see Elias on the floor getting ready to be taken into the ambulance while the police search the crashed car. We even had an eyewitness, WWE Universal Champion Braun Strowman, who explained everything that he saw. The opening segment for SmackDown really had a local news feeling to it. We had the reporter on the scene, the car crash, the eyewitness, the drama. Just really felt like we were watching the news for a quick second there. Renee Young explained that a car came flying right at them, but they couldn't see who it was. The only description they had for the individual was all black clothing, so that's really no help at all when it comes to trying to figure out who it was. Starting off with the crashed car. The police find a bottle in there, along with proof that it was Jeff Hardy's car. The police call for Jeff Hardy, and Renee explains that he's a WWE superstar. Kind of just stood out to me a bit that Jeff Hardy has been a top global superstar for decades, and these police officers don't even know who he is. Could have been nice to maybe have one police officer know who Jeff is and recognize his name. WWE has really been showcasing Jeff's past lately especially with all those documentary videos leading to his return. So maybe one of those officers could have recognized Jeff from a past arrest. But Strowman says he heard the crash, and then a guy took off running, and Elias was left on the ground. They see the crash car, the bottle, and proof that it belongs to Jeff Hardy. So they travel a few feet and find a destroyed Jeff Hardy lying down on the floor. They pick Jeff up, and he's just screaming in pain and has no idea what's going on. Jamie Noble and Jason Jordan were trying to help Jeff up, but the police wanted to place Jeff under arrest since it was his car. They asked Jeff if he's been drinking tonight, and Jeff said no. But before he can even explain himself, he was being taken away. Jeff does say that the car is rented, and Jeff is also surprised when he sees Elias on the stretcher. Jeff is taken away and doesn't appear again until the main event. So what's going on here? Clearly, it was a setup by someone to get Jeff Hardy arrested. And with Jeff's long past of previously getting arrested for drinking and driving, it was going to be easy to make everyone believe that he did it again. But who set Jeff up? The obvious choice here is Seamus. Seamus has been feuding with Jeff Hardy for weeks now. So it makes sense that Jeff's number one rival would set him up to be arrested and taken out of the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. But I'm not so sure. This whole situation feels like they want you to think it's the obvious choice of Sheamus. But it's actually someone completely different. Not to mention that seconds after Jeff Hardy's arrest, Sheamus was already seen backstage in his full gear. So did he really do it and change his clothes that fast? It's hard to tell. Another thing to notice is that not only is this attack on Jeff Hardy, it was also an attack on Elias. Jeff was obviously released from jail, so he was probably found innocent, but Elias is still the one in pain here. WWE.com even had a poll going on asking fans the question of who was the real culprit of the attack on Elias. King Corbin leads the poll with 47% of the votes, next is Sheamus with 32%, AJ Styles with 7% and Other with 14%. So, looks like the majority of fans are going with King Corbin as the main culprit of the attack. Corbin and Elias have been feuding for a while now, so it does make sense that Corbin would take him out after being embarrassed so many times. So, our top two suspects are chosen by the fans, are King Corbin and Sheamus. But once again, it sort of feels like they want us to believe that. But the big reveal would be someone else. Maybe it will be just a simple reveal of Corbin or Sheamus, but it just feels like it's a bit misleading and will be a big reveal. Strowman talks about the guy that fled away from the scene, the black hoodie and black pants individual. We know that this individual ran away from the scene was not Jeff Hardy because Jeff Hardy wasn't wearing the black hoodie, so someone else was involved here. Did they have enough time to plant the bottle in the car to make Jeff look guilty here? It's definitely a possibility. The all-black clothing reminds us of the SmackDown hacker, but that doesn't seem right either. I don't really get the sense that he would come outside to get anything done. I think he would do all his work from behind the screen, so that doesn't add up either. 
But this is still very interesting. Besides the cops not having any idea who Jeff Hardy was, it was a pretty great opener to SmackDown and was finally something new and different. We just have to find out who set Jeff up. What are your thoughts on this situation? Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.